Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial of JSI's results database. Today we're going to talk about what is the mobile app for Salesforce and what is it good for. And first off we're going to talk about how do I log in. So if you download the Salesforce One app for Android or iOS, the first time you open it, it should look something like this. Again, it's the Salesforce One with the number one app. And you're going to want to skip this first login screen and click Use Custom Domain. We use a custom domain for JSI, and all you have to do here is just type JSI in so that the URL says https slash slash jsi.my.salesforce.com. That's the same URL you'd type in on the website. And then you can click Continue. This should bring you to the familiar intranet login page where you can type in your username and password as you normally would. Go ahead and click login and after a few moments the Salesforce app should load. Your first page is going to be your chatter feed, so anything that um, maybe came up in your chatter feed over the previous day should show up. That's something that, of course, you can scroll through or you can post right there. Posts to the chatter feed are things that are shared uh, with, uh, with anyone who's at JSI, if you want to just give an update on what you're working on. What is the Salesforce One app useful for? If you've got this phone in your pocket, you've got sales, access to Salesforce, this could be a great place to go if you need quick information about a project, about a contact of yours or someone else's, about organizations, donors, or partners that we've worked with, or to get access to files like annual rep reports, and a number of other things. You should have access to almost the entire uh, Salesforce database from the mobile app. So this is a really great resource on the move, and there is an offline mode that should that will support uh, access to contacts and organizations. Say you um, happen to strike up a conversation with someone you know at uh, one of our partner organizations or at, our, or at USAID, for instance, we can quickly use the mobile app to look up any contacts we may uh, have in common. So let's take a look at projects from the sidebar. Swiping from the sidebar, take a look at projects. And then we have a number of lists that we can look at. I'm going to look at active projects. And here we have a list of the active projects sorted by program officer. But let's maybe, so this is where we can see what other lists we can go to. We can sort this differently. So perhaps we want to sort by name. And now we can scroll through the projects looking for the name of the project we're interested in. And clicking, for instance, on Mad Madagascar CBIHP, we can get some basic information about the project, a link to the project database, who the program officer is on the project, and the other backstopping team members, as well as all the other information that you would find on the Salesforce web page. In related lists, we'll see any corporate capability statements written about this project, and whatever technical areas apply. Going back to the Madagascar page, we can also look at the feed and see any changes that have happened on this project page recently. And we can post if we wanted to um, make an announcement about this project that would be received by anyone who's following this project page. Back in the sidebar, 
We can also get quick access to dashboards and reports. Looking at our recent dashboards, we can pull up, for example, uh, this management dashboard, which should give us a snapshot of our current projects. And, for example, the timeline, how, much, how many months each project has left. Up here in notifications, we can see if someone mentioned us in a post. And mark all as red. There's a lot of great features on the Salesforce One app. I encourage you to download and install it and check it out.